Now regarding celebrating the birthday of the Prophet. There is no verse in the Quran that I know of we say that you should celebrate the birthday of the Prophet. That is done by the Christians. The Christians celebrate the birthday of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. It is not even proven from the Bible that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December. It is the birthday of the sun god. That's another answer. There is no hadith in which the Prophet said you should celebrate my birthday. None of the Sahaba celebrated the birthday. None of the Khulfa Rashidin. Hazrat Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, may Allah be pleased with them all, none of them. So if you say, oh, because we love a prophet, we want to celebrate the birthday. Can you love the prophet more than the Sahabas? No. No. That if you put Hazrat Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr radiallahu an, on one side, and the full Muslim Ummah, leaving aside the Anbiya, leaving aside the prophet, Hazrat Abu Bakr, May Allah be pleased with him. Him alone is heavier than the full Muslim Ummah, leaving aside the Ambiya. Now, Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, never celebrated the birthday. Hazrat Umar did not celebrate the birthday. You want to be better than them. How can you be better? So you want to go against the Prophet? No. None of the Sahaba, not a single, show me a single Hadith in which the Sahaba celebrate the birthday. Even I will join you. Kul hatu burana kum in kundum sadiqeen. Produce your proof if you are truthful. What do people do? People try and bring their innovation. You can bring your innovation in your lifestyle, no problem. Innovate and make a car, no problem. Make an aeroplane, no problem. In your deen, if you make any innovation, any bidah, you are booking your seat in the hellfire according to the Prophet. Any bidah, you are booking your seat in the hellfire according to the Prophet. Any bidah, you are booking your seat in the hellfire according to the Prophet. Now, what do we do, you see, when we celebrate his birthday? We are reminding ourselves about his life, how he sacrificed everything for this kalamullah, for Allah's kalam. He had to flee for his life. Now, if these things are not an inspiration for us, that look, this man of God, he is no God. He is not the son of God. He is only a messenger. He is telling you so. He is made to say that again and again. Say, Qul, tell them, Inna basharun mithlukum. Say, I'm a man like yourself. You hi layya, but the revelation of God has come to me. Inna Allah ilahum wahid, that your Allah is one Allah. This is it. Say, Qul in kuntum tuhibbun Allah. Tell them that if they love Allah, fattabihuni. He says, follow me. Yuhbibkum Allah. Then Allah will love you. Firlakum, Zunubakum, and will forgive you your sins. Right? So if you love Allah, you have to love the Prophet. If you can't love the one you can see, how can you love the one you can't see? So this man, he sacrifices all. We're reminding ourselves about his life, that we may also emulate his life. And that's what Allah is telling us. He said, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةً حَسَنًا So most certainly, in the Apostle of Allah, you have the best example. So we are not substituting Muhammad for Jesus. So say, look, you're worshipping Jesus, now we're going to worship Muhammad. Astaghfirullah. No Muslim does that. If somebody does, we have to rectify it. But I can't imagine a Muslim worshipping the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Five times a day, the Muazzin is telling you, Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah Said, I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. He is not God. He is not his son. Don't make a mistake like the others have done. They made the prophets into gods. They made the heroes into gods. Don't you do that. And that message has gone home. No Muslim worships Muhammad. Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah Said, I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. He is not God. He is not his son. Don't make a mistake like the others have done. They made the prophets into gods. They made the heroes into gods. Don't you do that. And that message has gone home. No Muslim worships Muhammad. No Muslim worships Muhammad. No Muslim worships Muhammad. Even the most lunatic of us. We have lunatics too, you know that.